What up, everyone? Today I want to show you FF Manager. Um, for those who don't know what FF Manager is, it's the first and only online fast file editor that supports everything. Um, for those who are less technical, to you for patch making or patch editing, a patch or aka patch underscore mp dot ff is a fast file. Now, this tool supports COD4, COD5, NW2, Black Ops, NW3, Xbox, PS3, Wii, PC, and before you get your pains and twist, Black Ops and PS3 are for Wii, not Xbox, not PS3, so don't start. Okay, so now we got that covered, let's continue. Let's go to your favorite web browser. FFU.com. Let's go to FFU.com. Um, click the link. You need an account, so register if you don't have, don't have an account. Then click on the pretty FF Manager link. Now we have a uh, interface here. Um, as you can see, some people have shared some files. Give me ever access. We'll go with what. We'll see. I'll go over what that means and very soon. Um, so we can upload our own, or we can use a template. Now, what's a template? Well, there's predefined fast files that you can use, like my menu base, a clean patch for different game for different games and consoles. So, for the Xbox for what we're, we do it. We just click add the template, and we have it. Now, let's say I want to go global logic. Let's go in here. Let's go and take all this crap out. Put some junk in there. Okay. Now, click rename. We can rename the file. I'll just rename it to put mods there instead. Save it. It's done. Now, whenever you modify the name or the data, it's altering the raw data of the fast file. So, to save it, aka commit it, you might also call it, you have to compress it back to the fast file. So, if you don't do this and you download, you're not going to get any changes. So, do that, click compress. And, we're done. Compress. Voila. Now, let's go and download it if we want to. We download it. We can save it and also we can download IWD of it. The IWD does not require you to compress it though. For the IWD, let's look at it, shall we? Go right here. I'll just send it, open an archive. As you can see, we have all the files, we have our mods, we have, ev we have everything. So you can use this for PC or whatever else you want. Click that. Now, now let's go to, I don't know, let's go and manage the zone. For the more tech savvy people, we can go in and save the zone. Let's see. Now, right here. If I want to do, I can go find missions. GSC. We have our missions. Let's rename this to mods. And, and just put and just mess some and just mess with some stuff. I don't know. Save it. Now let's go and up with the file we had. The fast file of zone. Upload. And now it's not changed. Now we can go back and view what we did. And it's fast file. 
missions, we renamed it, and look at that. All our little changes and whatever we did is all right there. And we can compress it. And it's compressed. Now, now what if we want to make this into a PS3 patch? Hmm? Okay, here's where the copy fast file tool comes in. It can be used to convert fast files. Let's go ahead and add a word war from PS3. Add from template. We have it all right here. Now, let's go to... Hmm. Let's go to... Um... From their Xbox, copy it. We uh, we have our other one listed here. You want to copy all the names over too? To copy. Done. Now I'll say that for. The converter is not perfect. It does skip some things in rare instances. For example, it seems that there's a rare case where a rare, rare patch on Xbox and a rare, rare patch on PS3 has a different number of GSCs. So it's well, it's kind of hard for it to know what to put to where. So in that type of case, it might skip some things, but. Uh, that's but it's kind of rare for the common fast files to have different sizes on different consoles. But that does happen. I am going to try to improve that. But we but I know this definitely does work on on um, NW2 and COD4. But real rare is weird, I can say. So in that case, let's go and try to take a look at NW2. Delivered. Delete. Add from template. NW2 Xbox. Add. It's added. Now let's go to the missions. Edit. Rename. I'll rename now we have the Xbox now let's get the PS3 we have the PS3 now now just copy it over In this case, they had the same amount of files, so it did work. It did not. It did not. It did work properly. Now look at this. See? And now we can compress this. And then downward. Now let's say we want to share these files to um, our friend or release them somewhere. Click on Manage Special Settings. Click on enable fast file share for this fast file. Uh, press update. And look, and look. You get this pretty little link you can go to. Now if you try to access it, it will download it and not count for you. But after this, but now they have enabled, if you look, there's a file share downloads. You have a counter as well. So you can release this onto a form and watch the downloads go up and now, if you want to remove it from downloads, but still have it there, just uncheck that, update, and it's no longer shared. And anyone trying to access that link you gave out will get an error. Um, now, say you upload a file, it, you compress it, 
it black screens or something happens, um, you can get um, a fast file from template or the same console, different console if you want, and you can copy over to the same exact thing and compress that one and go on. So if you were using a converted fast file or something with buckshots or something weird happened, you can do that without trouble. Now, also, in FF Manager, you have subscriptions. If you want to get a higher quota, like get more uh, file storage, or you don't want to wait to download a fast file, someone share it to you, like, uh, like publicly from the file share, then you can buy a subscription. They're pretty cheap too. Um, now there's also something else cool. If you want to give someone edge or access or one person to download it, then what you can do is let's just have guilty in here for example. Edit, rename, download. I can add him. And now he can edit the fast file. And now he can edit, he can rename, he can download. And he will appear and it, that will appear for him and then fast file is edit access. So, let's delete that, delete, and he no longer has access. So, this is our web base, no download needed, no issues, no BS, this is a simple way to manage all your stuff 24-7 anywhere. These files are stay on your account, and... You can download them, you can go to your friend's house, edit your patch, do whatever, edit a fast file, up at the common maybe, I don't know. Do whatever you want. And have fun with it. Do one tool that does it all, and makes it simple for you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you can't remember FF Manager, just go to ffuel.com. Everyone knows that address, everyone knows that, uh, that program name, and have fun with it. Enjoy. And, while you're at it, check out GeneralMind.com. It's a place to learn, a place to have fun, you don't have, um, all, you don't have all the little leechers and all the little kids and all the spam going on but you can also have fun and have a good community and um, it doesn't have to just be gaming you can mod talk about modding you know, about anything cars whatever I mean it's zero modding so that's my site and yeah I uh, hope to see you on general modding and I hope to see you on FF Measure. Hope you have fun. I'll be around. PC330, I'm out. Bye, guys.